my job, one of my jobs as the leader of Amazon is to encourage people to be bold. It's incredibly hard to get people to take bold bets, and you need to encourage that. And if you're going to take bold bets, they're going to be experiments. And if they're experiments, you don't know ahead of time whether they're going to work. Uh, experiments uh, are, by their very nature, uh, prone to failure. But big successes, a few big successes, compensate for dozens and dozens of things that didn't work. So what really matters is companies that don't continue to experiment, companies that don't embrace failure, they eventually get in a desperate position. The only thing they can do is make a kind of Hail Mary bet at the very end of their corporate existence. We know from our past experiences that big things start small. The biggest oak starts from an acorn, and if you want to do anything new, you've got to be willing to let that acorn grow into a little sapling and then finally into a small tree, and maybe one day it'll be a big business on its own. You can't skip steps. You have to put one foot in front of the other. Things take time. Uh, you, there are no shortcuts. And you want to do those steps with you know, passion and ferocity. Reputations are hard earned and easily lost. So the most important intellectual property that a company can have is for us, it's, it's Amazon. It's th that name, but what it stands for. And we've worked very hard to earn trust. You can't ask for trust. You just have to do it the hard way, one step at a time. I think one of the things that's very important to note about stress is that stress primarily comes from not taking action over something that you can have some control over. So stress comes from ignoring things that you shouldn't be ignoring. Stress doesn't come from hard work, for example. You know, you can be working incredibly hard and loving it. And likewise, you can be out of work and incredibly stressed over that. You're going to be a lot less stressed than if you're just worrying about it and doing nothing. If you're giving a great customer experience, um, there's, the only way to do that is with happy people. You can't do it with a set of miserable people um, you know, watching the clock all day. I always talk about work-life balance, except I like to use the phrase work-life harmony rather than balance, because to me, balance implies a strict trade, whereas I find that when I am happy at work, I come home more energized, I'm a better husband, a better dad, and when I'm happy at home, I come in and better boss and better colleague. And I think for most people, it's about meaning. People want to know that they're doing something interesting and useful. And for us, you know, because of the challenges that we have chosen for ourselves, uh, we get to work in the future. And it's super fun to work in the future for the right kind of person. It's easy to have ideas. It's very hard to turn an idea into a successful product. You need a combination of stubborn relentlessness and flexibility. And you have to know when to be which. And basically you need to be stubborn on your vision because otherwise it'll be too easy to give up. But you need to be very flexible on the details because as you go along pursuing your vision, you'll find that some of your preconceptions were wrong. And you're gonna need to be able to change those things. I think it's the very rare idea that can be done by a single individual. Almost everything that is going to change the world, solve a problem, improve something, these are usually big efforts and they require a team working together to really get something important done. Do something you're very passionate about. Don't try to chase what is kind of the hot passion of the day. But they always take a long-term point of view. I think there are a lot of paths to satisfaction and you need to find one that works works for you. Complaining is not a strategy. You gotta earn your keep in this world. When you invent something new, if customers come to the party, it's disruptive to the old way. If you're doing anything interesting in the world, you're gonna have critics. If you absolutely can't tolerate critics, then don't do anything new or interesting.